You guys asked for more rolling stock reviews and more rolling stock reviews you shall receive. Today we are taking a look at an Atherin product. Let's see what this piece of rolling stock is next. Today we're taking a look at the 57 foot mechanical reefer. This is from Atherin Genesis. Genesis, that means you are getting highly detailed pieces of rolling stock here. So I'm going to point out a few details on this piece of rolling stock and then we'll take a look at some varying schemes. So we're going to start on the end where you'll see a McHenry coupler, a coupler cut lever, an air hose for the brake line with a silver tipped end located right there. You've got separately applied ladders here and a crossover stand here that appears to be etched metal. BNSF with the road number on the end is legible. And you've got Western Fruit Express on the side along with a vent that allows for the refrigerating unit to either bring in or put out ambient air. Safety is no accident written on the side. You have door levers and the door lock all looks like it's separately applied there. A nice depth there to the side. Metal wheels, of course. Got ribbing on the side where the welds for the car would be. On this end, you have a brake wheel and more of the same that we mentioned. Brake chain going down through the crossover stand. So really nicely detailed there. A very nicely detailed piece of rolling stock from Atherin. Here's a view of the roof. And then on the bottom, you'd expect to see some underbody detail, and you have that there. You've got an air reservoir and some other underbody detail along with the bracing, floor bracings there as seen through the area. You've got electrical pickups here on the trucks. The reason for that is some of these are sound equipped, and we'll get into that later as we look at some of the other variations. So if you guys didn't know, I had a short on my layout, so this is the first video I am doing after the short has occurred, and I got it diagnosed and at least isolated for now. Still got more work to do on that. But with that said, this video is not going to have on-screen prototype information, so I'm just going to talk about it as we go through the different schemes. This is FGE, the chiller. Uh, FGMR there on the road marking. I believe that's Fruit Growers Express. It could be wrong. But more of the same detail. There are some variations in some of these cars you're going to see. This is basically just a 360 of this car. Now my favorite, because I see them around Omaha, is the ARMN Union Pacific Chilled Express. As you can see, that is different than the other car because the refrigerator unit housing is open, it is not closed off, like you have in this case, where there's venting and the grills here. Everything is housed inside. This one's got some outside portions. And the Fruit Growers Express I just showed has even more variations in vent areas or grill areas. So Got all these road name, road number specific details that Atherin has gone through while maintaining the details we went over earlier. But I love that ARMN Union Pacific Chilled Express. It does tend to be a graffiti magnet in real life, but you have a lot of nice underbody detail and detail that varies, again, based on the type of car. Now these are sound equipped and some of them have sound and some of them don't. I will put on the screen the MSRP if I haven't already. But this is another version of the Chilled Express, but a difference you'll notice here is the interior area is painted black where the last interior area is painted white. That's more of the road number specific details that you will see that are different. You can see the black in the back here and the white up front. So why are these sound equipped? Well, that helps with the realistic operation of your railroad because 
on the real railroad, these have refrigerator units in them, as you have seen. Here's yet another version, another road number anyway. And the refrigerator unit, which sits right here, will actually kick on and kick off as the compressor pumps cool air into the car. And the reason you need cool air in the car is simply because it is moving produce and refrigerated items that need to stay a certain temperature in transit. So they're picked up from a refrigerator wherever that produce is obviously exported from and loaded into these cars and then that temperature has to maintain all the way to where it gets to a grocery store or another distributor or wherever it's going. Now that temperature must be maintained because of health codes and obviously laws to make sure that you don't get sick off of produce or other items that require refrigeration that have gone bad. Prime example being eggs could go bad and you don't want those to be subjected to high temperatures. In these boxcars or these pieces of rolling stock in general tend to become just ovens when they aren't temperature controlled so you wouldn't want that temperature control to fail. Now there are also there are also electronics inside that will give temperature history that way if the unit fails to maintain the actual temperature during the journey and the temperature rises to too high then the crew or somebody will be able to access that history and see that there has been a period of time where that produce was not maintaining temperature. So I don't know if it does an audible alarm or just uh, brings up like some sort of flashing light. I don't know the details on that, but they are able to tell if these have been refrigerated during their entire journey. So here's FGE solid cold version, another one of my favorites. All the print is legible, everything looks good, and, and that's what I'd expect from Genesis. You've got nice fan grating detail or grills down here so that you can get ambient air to and from the refrigerating unit. And on this one, you can see there's even a little area on the roof here that's different from the other roofs. So a lot of different road name and road number detail. So I think I've gone everything over everything except for Burlington Northern. I will show you that real quick. That's Western Fruit Express. So BNFE road markings here, Burlington Northern on the side, and the logo there. And you know, you can always look at the build dates on the cars to get an idea of the era. And those are legible too as well. Looks like 7 of 64 on this, if I'm, or 7 of 84 if I'm reading this right. But overall, really nice detail. You've got paneling, different paneling areas on the side. You've got a temperature thermometer readout right here, a little hard to see, but now's a good time to go ahead and zoom in so you can see some of the closer details on these cars. Again, what you'd expect from Atherin Genesis, but You've got the little dial readout here. You've got the grills. You've even got a little paneling right there. So overall, very, very nicely done, nicely detailed. On this end, you can see the air hose was silver tipped in for the brake line, crossover stand, brake wheel, etc. So that's about all I'm going to talk about on these cars. I will leave you with a run-by of these cars, which is what I was right about to do when I got the short on my layout. So I'll be able to do the run-by now. I'm going to do two run-bys. The first one will have the spirit of Union Pacific 1943, which is an Atherin locomotive, the recent release, with the sound on, but you'll still be able to hear the cars and you'll hear the compressors kick on and off. And then just to be safe, in case you don't hear the cars clear enough, there'll be a second run by with the exact same locomotive with the sound off. And all you can hear is all the refrigerator cars making their refrigerator noises. So with that said, that'll wrap up the review of this Atherin 57 foot reefer. And we'll see you next time right here on my channel. Take care.